We, um, at the Native Spirit Lodge, get things that people bring, used to be called Old Pawn, to us. This is a storyteller belt, all sterling silver, and uh, obviously we do not keep this at the store. We have a safe where we keep it. And uh, the, uh, the problem is that the price of silver has gone up so high that uh, things like this are very, very expensive, including a little trinket like that, too. Pretty cool. But uh, Native people really, really, really love to decorate and like to flash and like to wear things. And before flash was popular, uh, Native people were wearing flash. I understand one time there was a music award, and a lot of uh, music, uh, rock and roll, and different people were there. And the uh, four people that were selected for playing their flutes in uh, Native American uh, Music uh, were selected to come and received awards, which was very nice. And they showed up in what we call full regalia, that is, you know, feathers and beads and everything. And everybody looked at them and said, whoa, you guys really know how to dress. And they do. If you ever see them in their full regalia, it's really a remarkable thing. You probably see that at powwows, some of the larger powwows. But uh, not so much at uh, the smaller ones like you used to see before. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, this is something that we just got in. Uh, these are Native American made. This is either elk skin or it's uh, deer skin. Little what we call possibility bags that people carry. They're, uh, they're special spirits in or something nice too. And over here we got in a larger selection. Uh, we do have, uh, these are uh, Navajo and then the fellow who makes this for us is Wapitan which is part of the Sioux Nation, and the couple that we get this from direct is, uh, is Navajo. They bring us a large selection of things three or four times a year, and uh, it's the most remarkable thing when they come. Uh, people, people say all the time, uh, they don't look Indian. Well, they're they Navajo, and uh, they speak Navajo, and uh, we tell people, well, the reason why is because you're used to seeing Italians in the movies that uh, true Native Americans uh, unless they're in the uh, sun all the time, like Cochise, uh, really are not usually that dark. However, uh, some are, and, uh, but that's what people expect to see. So therefore they say, wow, well, they're not Navajo in there. But they live on the res. These we got into, and uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the lady who makes this for us, uh, once again, we have her certificate of authenticity, the tribe that she's associated with, and uh, some of them she, uh, she not only made, uh, she hand-tooled it too. And uh, on the outside here, this is a uh, Navajo blanket that she incorporated. And the Navajo blankets are really, really expensive. And I noticed on this one it wasn't embossed, this is all hand-tooled. It's a really beautiful job that she did. Now, it's the most interesting thing that we have people that uh, have come to see these in the store and the ladies, and they have said, these are not big enough. They want, <laughs> they want them bigger. <laughs> and I says, you, it's, not, uh, it's not meant to be a great big, but I guess it's meant to be whatever you want it to be. So, uh, yeah, this is an antler bone. And uh, she made quite a nice selection for us on the bottom and on the top. And, and uh, ones like this. And so far, we've been selling them very good. I hope we have enough for the holiday. We still, of course, have uh, the uh, hand-painted Mandela's. Quite a nice selection of those left still. And uh, those we also have for the holidays, too. And they're, uh, they're very, very popular. We, uh, we get things in that people oops, excuse me, give us or sell us. And this is uh, a brass. I, people have said they want to buy this and melt it down. This is from India, and this is the type of things they wear in India. It's not Native American, but uh, somebody, somebody had it for sale, and they gave us their address and everything to make sure that uh, it wasn't stolen, and uh, we uh, were happy to have it. But the quality of these, too, is just absolutely beautiful. 
some of the new merchandise that we have here at the Native Spirit Lodge. And once again, people can be assured that not only is it Native American made, but also their certificate of authenticity comes with it too. Because there is what's called the Native American Craft Act. And if you sell something that you claim is Native American made and it's not, $20,000 fine, and you'll find some Native people that are going to turn you in as quick as can be. And you can't blame them because, after all, their craft is their craft. And made in China stuff, it's made in China. But we tell people all the time, no spirit in that stuff. Thank you.